This video is entitled Internal Style in the Tag Selector and is a companion piece to the book So You Want to Learn to Use HTML and CSS. I'm Dr. James Renault, uh, and I'll be taking you through this video presentation. In this video, we're going to be introducing the internal style, the idea of an internal style sheet using the style tag of HTML. We're going to talk about the basic syntax of a style sheet. We're going to add comments to a style sheet. And then I'm going to show you the HTML tag selector, which is the easiest of all of the uh, parts of a CSS style sheet. So I'm going to show you how to create a little style sheet, embed it in your HTML document, and just a little bit of the, the format. And we'll use that format for, for the rest of the semester. Let's talk about the basic syntax of style. Base, style is, is, a, is a text format, just like an HTML document or lines of, of an HTML document. It, uh, it includes a thing called a selector. And the selector is what tells CSS which elements of HTML to apply the style to. Selectors can be very simple to very complex. We'll show you a very simple selector in, in this presentation also. The uh, curly Q bracket that follows the selector begins the style that's associated with the selector, and the closed curly Q bracket cl uh, ends the style. So any style, and you could put one, two, 10, 20 styles, setting colors, fonts, uh, margins, and all of that kind of stuff inside the curly braces. Um, they can all be on one line, but they can be on separate lines. They can be indented to make it look good. Just it, it, it's however you want it. But I like them indented and spaced out so that I can see what's going on. You can have multiple selectors. So then outside of that selector, there'd be another selector and there'd be another selector with its curly braces open and close with the style inside. Be sure for every open curly brace, there's a closed curly brace. Um, the next thing is that a, a style can include comments, which are things that style ignores, that the web browser ignores, but are meaningful to humans like us. Um, and a comment statement starts with a slash star, and whatever is in there, even if it's multiple lines long, star slash. It can even be CSS between the slash star and the star slash, and, and the web browser will ignore that CSS because it's inside of a comment. But a, a comment is a good place to put a page title, a description, um, modifications, modification dates, um, contact information, all of that kind of stuff. So that's the general basic syntax of a style sheet, a CSS sheet. Now we're going to show how to embed the sheet into our HTML document and show you a selector. First, let's create a style tag. Style in HTML and close the style HTML, and you can see that up there at the top. That goes inside the head. That goes inside the head, and there's no HTML that goes between the style and the close style. CSS goes between the style and the close style. There can have multiple lines of style between those two tags, and um, when you put that style tag and the CSS in the header, that style applies to the whole body of, of the page. So let's talk about the first selector I want you to know, and that is the HTML tag selector. Um, the HTML tag selector is just exactly what it sounds like for the selector, for the text you use in the selector, put the tag name. Um, whatever the tag name you want, body, h1, p, whatever. If you want all of the i tags to be pink, you would just say i, open curly q, color pink, close curly q, and they, they'd all automatically be pink. Um, so you can see how I have the style beginning and end there on the, there on the, on the example. And you see that I have a body selector. Now, what the body selector is going to do is it's going to set the background color for the entire body to yellow. 
because I've said body. Now, I could have gone into the body and said style equal, quote, background dash color yellow, quote, in the body tag, but that puts style down in the body, and if we want to change it, it's a little bit more difficult, but if we put it up top, then it's right there where we can find it. It's easier to maintain. Um, and once we go to moving this to an external sheet, that same sheet can be shared across multiple pages, making maintenance of a site a lot easier. You see that the second uh, style that I have added to this embedded style is the H1, an H1 selector and its color green. Now that would automatically apply to all H1s. If there's zero of them, it'll ignore it. If there are 20 of them, it'll apply it 20 times, making everything consistent that all of the H1s are going to be color green. So here is a very simple page. You can see how, how simple the HTML is over here at the bottom. It's a body with an H1 and a paragraph. Well, that's simple. But look at the style that's up here in the head now between the style begin and end tag. You can see that it says style body as a background color of 200, 200, 200, which would be a nice gray. Um, the H1 has a background color of black, color of white, and I've chosen a, uh, a fantasy font, Curls MT or Impa Sans ITC or a general fantasy font. And you can see the result of what that page were to look like if I were to actually render it in a web browser. See how simple my HTML is, though, by moving all of the style up into an embedded style sheet, and you'll see soon an external style sheet. We keep our HTML pure. We keep it semantically simple. Um, that's what this is all about. You know, we showed you style in the beginning embedded in the tags, but I want to encourage you to do as little of that as possible. And in a couple of a uh, couple of more lessons, you'll you'll be able to to build selectors, to pick individual tags out. You'll be able to do all kinds of things, and you won't need um, embedded style in in the uh, by putting it in the tag anymore. You'll put it all up in a ex in, in, in embedded style sheet, or you'll put it into an external style sheet. This concludes this introduction. This presentation is copyright 2020 by James Imrano, PhD. All rights are reserved. You can contact me at jim at renejm.com if you have questions. And this work is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share alike, 4.0, international license. I'd also like to say thank you for watching.